Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic, and this week, we're revisiting one of my favorite modern budget archetypes, Mono Red Hollywood, with some sweet new Modern Horizons 2 editions, like Asmar, Animar, Deaconistina, Kuldakar, and friends, so let's talk about our new and improved MH2'd version of Mono Red Hollywood. Jump into some games, see it in action. So here is our Mono Red Hollow 1 deck, new and improved with sweet MH2 edition. So of course, namesake card, Hollow 1. If we can discard three cards, it's free. And that's what our deck is kind of trying to do. Burning Inquiry draws three, discards three. Goblin Lord draws four, discards three. Street Wraith, we can cycle, which counts as discarding a card. So our best draws, we can just have a Hollow 1 or even two or three or technically four on the battlefield on turn one to pick up some free wins. Our our biggest new addition to the deck is Asmor Anamar Dikidus Stina Kuldakar, which is perfect for what Hollowood is trying to do, because we're already discarding all these cards. Asmor, if we discard a card, we can play it for one mana as a 3-3, and it snakes a cookbook, which lets us discard more cards and turns Asmor into a sweet removal spell with the food. So Asmor, great backup to Hollow One. Then we have our one drops. We got a couple of old standbys. Flameblade Adept gets big as we discard cards or cycle cards. Insolent Neonate, another way to discard cards. The big new addition, Blazing Root Wallet, if we can discard it to a Cookbook, or an Insolent Neonate, or a Burning Inquiry, or a Goblin, or anyway, we get to play it for free with Madness, and then we can pump it for one mana, and turn it into a 3-1, which is actually pretty aggressive, so this helps us get off to those insane fast starts with our Hollow Ones, and our Asmores, and our Blazing Root Wallets, otherwise, Oxymagonus, really good if the game goes long, we can keep escaping it, our Graveyard's usually full, Flame Lake Phoenix coming back from the Graveyard, Fiery Temper, gives us a Lightning Bolt that we can discard for Vanity, you mana base 17 mountains as cheap as it could get sideboard artifact hate creature hate graveyard hate ratchet bob to hate on anything and that is mono red hollowwood new and improved with as more in friends let's jump into some games see how it works thanks for watching i hope you all enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit with the wrap up Need some new Modern Horizons cards? Well, you can order them today from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Budget magic time! We are trying some MH2, Mono Red Hollow One, in Modern. The return of one of my favorite budget archetypes, Forest for our opponent, and Elvish Mystic. All right, I'll play the land, play Underworld Cookbook, go. Oh, but it's Forest. Well, let's see how crazy of a turn our opponent can have. Eldritch Evolution into a Scurry Oak. Okay, well, we have an answer to this. Uh, we will play the land, Cycle Street Wraith, discard, Fiery Temper, Madness it. Gotta kill the Scurry Oak or we risk dying to Squirrel Twin. <laughs> cool to see Squirrel Twin in action. And then I think... I think we just hollow one. Hollow one is the, the biggest of the threats. Pass the turn. Asmore is probably going to be big because we can turn food into removal. Opponent. Elvish Visionary draws a card. The Battle of the Budget Magics. Uh, Insolent Neonate, eh? Well, let's discard Blazing Root Walla. Madness it. Go to combat. Attack you. Down to 16. Uh, Asmore. Grab another cookbook. Second cookbook's not that great, but it is good for, uh... For discarding purposes. Eh, all right, pass the turn. We got a pretty big board. Our opponent's going to need to assemble the combo pretty quickly. The big problem that they're going to have is Asmor is really good against Squirrel Twin. It's just like a removal spell that sits on the battlefield, which is going to be super big here. Opponent, Walla Blossoms. Squirrel Twin is pretty good at blocking. And passes. Well, Cycle Street Wraith. Play Flame Blade. Go to combat. Big attack. I don't know if we want to Burning Inquiry or not. Um, yeah, let's wait. It's better next turn when we can use it to pump the Flame Blade, too. Yeah, Asmore is huge deal for a deck like this, as is the Cookbook. Cookbook is really big, too. And, Blade, like, there's so many sweet new cards in this deck. Blazing Your Wall is actually really good, too. What do you got, Squirrel Twid? Another Visionary. Yeah. Not going to use the food for removal until they try to combo. There's not much sense in killing Elvish Visionaries or whatever. Especially since we know they have a combo they can get at instant speed. Elder's Evolution gets the Scurry Oak. Passing. Well, untap. 
Spin the Burning Inquiry Wheel. Eh, discard our hollow one. Also discard Nox, which is sweet. An opponent scoops it up. Yeah, this might actually kind of be a good matchup. Squirrel Twin is really powerful. However, if you know what they're doing and how to play around it, <laughs> it gets a it gets a smidge worse. We're gonna bring in all the lightning axes. Like our main goal in this matchup is keep our opponent off the combo. If we can keep our opponent off of the combo, we should be able to more or less win at our leisure because our creatures are going to be better than our opponents on the other end if they can combo we just all bets are off and we just instantly lose well okay <laughs> hard to not keep the burning inquiry hand like is it going to be good eh, probably not who knows but <laughs> it could be good you never know like we could we could right now we have four lands we could end next turn with three hollow ones in play <laughs> four hollow ones in play technically not likely but you never know. That's the... Ooh. Well, all right, new plan. Now I think we wait and just play Asmore. Street Wraith, Asmore, kind of a combo. And that gives us a cookbook too, which is nice. Worst case, we can spin it to win it a bunch and maybe maybe Ox eventually. Wall of Roots. Scary thing is we don't actually have removal at the moment. Well, hmm. Yeah, let's just spin before we play the cookbook even. All right, we'll play the land, play the cookbook, go to combat. Uh, no reason to attack. I think we have to discard an ox here to make a food, because we're going to need this Asmore removal about it. Land of Ralphs. We got rid of a scurry oak. That's something. Oh, but we didn't pass. I think, well, discard an ox. Play the land. Goblin lore. Spin into nothing. Cycle Street Wraith. Hollow one. Ooh, that is a hollow one. I'll cast a hollow one. Play insulin unit. And pass the turn. All right. Well, I mean, we can... Make a food and have removal available, which is key. And now we kind of have a clock. Wow, do we have to kill a wall of roots? Killing wall of roots is not exciting, but that might be what we have to do here. The best thing about this deck is if your opponent's ever taking some time to think, you can just practice saying uh, Asmore's name. <laughs> As more Anomar de Sadikatistin de I think that was pretty close. Bone it. Wall of Roots. We'll keep practicing as we have time. Passes. Yeah, we're going to discard a land. And yeah, discard the land. Make a food. Untap. Cycle Street Wraith. Play the cookbook. Discard an ox. Make a food. Get back an ox. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Get some new cards. Play the land. Go to combat. Do some attack. Our opponent does have <laughs> a literal wall of blockers, which we're going to have to start eating through. Fiery Temper is kind of good for that. Opponent going to block. Going to block. But Menace. They, yeah. They <laughs> Hilariously, I think that this Menace made our opponent block in a better manner. <laughs> they were going to block the 1-1 one, one when I think blocking the 4-4 four, four is pretty pretty clearly better oh oh if they're removing counters then that makes sense what is happening are we courting courting for the scurry oak oh this is this is going to be a bit of a blowout i think now we get to kill all the walls so we kill a wall then we discard fiery temper kill a wall and opponent yeah yeah, so Squirrel Twin, it's a deck that's really good at catching people by surprise. Unfortunately for our opponent, <laughs> since we built the deck, uh, gonna be a little little harder to catch us by surprise than uh, <laughs> than the average Moto player, perhaps. But, well, that was as more power. The other thing is, this might just be a tough matchup. If I was on the, on the Squirrel Twin side... I would be deadly afraid of as more on no Mardisa Distitikalida car uh, because of the onboard removal aspect, but yeah, all right, let's keep doing that. Sweet, sweet. Budget Magic one, one, time. Budget Magic time, we are playing Mono Red Hollow one. I messed uh, those together or even mashed in my in my brain. Um, huh, I don't think we keep this. It doesn't do much. All right, this is this is better-ish. We got a hollow one. We could still use more, more ways to discard stuff. Oh, it's, it's affinity. All right, spin it to win it. Please don't discard our hollow one. Well, all right, we get to keep our hollow one and we get, a, oh, that actually worked pretty well. We get a Blazing Ruwala, boom. We get a hollow one, double boom, pass the turn, and we found Asmore, which we can play off this cookbook. Opponent lost Counterspell Glintness Crane. So this is some sort of control -y version of, wow, okay. Some sort of control -y version of affinity. I'll play a land, play Asmore, tutor up a cookbook. 
play a cookbook, can't ya? Down to 15. Oh, uh, boot it. Tap land. Uh, boot it. Passes. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Attack ya. Uh-oh. Kills the hollow one. Sure. Go attacking. Pump. Hit ya. Down to nine. Pass the turn. Opponent. Fire of industry. Can we close it out is the question. Opponent, Glint as Crane. Getting some blocking going. We do have quite a bit of artifact in the sideboard, at least a, a reasonable amount. Nettle Cyst. Well, it's going to be a problem once it comes down. Opponent. Well, we will. Underworld Cookbook. Discard Fiery Temper. Get rid of the Crane. Make a food. Untap. Cycle Street Wraith. Go to combat. Attack you. Uh-oh. More blasts. Uh, bolts as more. All right. Well, go to combat. Attack ya. Hit ya. Discard an ox. Play a hollow one. Play a cookbook. All right. Well, can we close this out somehow? Opponent's gonna have a big old nettle sis coming down. Theoretically, we get to draw with with a uh, ox though, which is big. Opponent, yeah, gets the germ. See what we find. Mountain, well, play a mountain. Ox. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Empty them all. Get back an ox. Draw some cards. Not much. Play a neonate. Go to combat. Attack. Attack. Opponent blocks. We will pump. Blazing root walla. Well, I mean this is this is it. Opponent's down to three. Can we find a way to get in the last three? About it. Another nettle cyst. Yeah. And Stoneforge Mystic. Uh-oh. We are running out of time. Running out of time. The nettle cysts are here. Well, you know what we need to find? We need to find a fiery temper. That is that is it. We got three left in our deck. More looting effects would be nice. Opponent passes. Flame blade adept. You know, play Flame Blade Adept. Mm. Our opponent's tapped out at the moment. We know they have counter spells in their deck. Is it worth cracking this neonate? Like, if we attack, our opponent blocks, blocks, takes one, doesn't really matter. If we wait, there's a Batter Skull. The only upside to neonate is it can fizzle a Batter Skull attack. The problem is if we let our opponent untap, they're gonna likely have a counter spell, even if we do hit what we want. All right, let's discard a mountain. Sack the neonate. Goblin lore. Okay... Now we get another Blazing Rootwalla. Play the land past the turn. Ooh, okay. Well, that was our that was our chance to hit it, and we didn't find it. Maybe our opponent will tap down. Opponent it. Combat. Passes. Well, we untap. We will Goblin Lore. Okay. Pump Flame Blade. Asmore. Resolves. Guard a Cookbook. Guard a Ox. Get back an Ox. Actually, what if we attack with everything? Do we win? Let's go to combat. Let's attack with everything. Question's gonna be, does our opponent have a... If they can kill Asmore before putting the Stoneforge into play. Attack, 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 attack. Opponent blocks. Blocks. Interesting. Not putting the Batter Skull into play. How does our opponent not lose, though? Blocks, blocks, blocks. Well, we will pump. Opponent puts the Batter Skull into play. Pumps the Dorks. Okay, so a bunch of stuff dies. Uh-oh. And they have the dispatch. So I think the problem we're gonna have is our opponent can put the batter skull on a germ, and we can't really stop that. All right, I think we pass. Actually, I guess we can. Opponent untaps. Okay, this is fine though, because we can sack all of our food. Opponent goes to combat. As more, sack two food. As more, sack two more food. Wow, as more power. This is something older versions of Hollow One would not be able to beat. No chance. Opponent passes. Mountain. Well, might as well play it. Get back an ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that does put our opponent back up to 15, though, which, ugh. Yeah, that's, huh, that's a problem. Yeah, the way Asmore, oh no, Asmore. Maybe it's not as good as we thought. <laughs> It does not save us as well as we were hoping. Uh, well, we will... How do we get out of this? Goblin lore. Now we hit the fiery temper. Uh, fiery temper the germ. Discard burning inquiry. Discard flame wake phoenix. Sack the food. Kill the germ. Combat. Get back flame. Wow, this has been a ridiculous game. Get a flame wake. Hit ya. Well, opponent gained a ton of life, so they're not dead, but wow, this has been, this game has been ridiculous. Opponent plays a land. Glint Nest Crane goes digging. Yeah, Asmore's been something. Gets a 
nettle cyst. A quips a nettle cyst. That's a big old bird. That's a big old bird. That's a bird that's probably gonna kill us. Opponent. Is it 10? Well, step one, Oxybogonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get it back. Discard a neonate. Madness root walla. Oh, we can't kill it though. Yeah, we're just, huh. Okay, cycle, mountain, neonate, discard a mountain, into another mountain. Yeah, this is not lethal and we can't stop it. And we're out of card draw. Play the land. Yeah, that has to attack. Ooh, oh. I don't know if Asmore saved us or killed us here. <laughs> in all honesty. But I do know that these nettle cysts are making for a big old glint nest grade. If our opponent puts batter skull on it, then we're dead. Wow. Wow, 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 that was ridiculous. All right, all right, all right. Well, we will bring in four ingot chewers. We'll go down a flame wake, a flame wake, a blazing root wallet, and a neonate. Ratchet bomb. Probably too slow. Let's run it like that. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Well, Oh, that was a super close that was a really close interesting game we didn't win asmore i guess kept us alive but the way it's worded having the creature do damage to itself let our opponent gain a ridiculous amount of life from killing uh killing batter skull creatures and that was enough to keep him in the game i mean the ingot chewer should help and i do feel like if we get off to a fast start we should be a in good well hmm. Ugh, no looting effects we do have some decent one drops yeah we're gonna keep we're gonna keep and just trust that we we draw into some ways to you loot through our deck well land and flame blade adept go string wraith is probably our best draw opponent tap land and passes well insolent neonate works play neonate sack neonate discard root walla play root walla play the land play as get a cookbook hit you for two all right not bad not bad about it glimmer void and passes well go to combat attack ya and eh, pump the root walla hit ya seems like our opponent has counter and removal and they're trying to decide if they need to leave up the counter well play the cookbook there's the counter well play a land pass the turn opponent glimmer void yeah artifact lands open up some interesting possibilities like this control deck our opponent's playing uh well hmm go to combat attack you about it kills asmore kills root wall all right so opponent all the removal uh, we'll play a cookbook play the mountain pass the turn about it taps tap lad oh there's the stone forge so we're gonna need a way to get rid of a batter skull and we're gonna need it soon opponent passes well huh play the mountain just run out the ox of Agonis. discard a hollow one unfortunately go to combat hit you down to eight but the batter skull is coming a boater to taps goes to combat passes Ooh, ingot chewer sweet that's actually really sweet so we will let's see discard ah oh, they still could have a counter discard fiery temper grow flame blade madness it on the stone forge opponent puts batter skull into play yep so we get a food we evoke ingot chewer okay opponent dispatches but we still get to blow up the batter skull which is big game so kill the batter skull insulin unit go to combat hit ya one two three four five six seven one two three four five yeah let's discard the ox hollow one go all right opponent <laughs> do you have more batter skulls can you stop our onslaught we have two lethal creatures about it stone forge are they playing all right nettles this sure but they also need they also need an answer to our creatures so we're gonna ox exile everything draw some cards opponent paths and ox oh, get a land out of the deck all right if we hit a removal spell for stoneforge we should be able to just win no well go to combat attack you about it blocks well opponents still got to keep chaining things together though like they play nettle cyst that's not enough they need nettle cyst plus removal all right nettle cyst so i can stop a creature sort of uh let's discard a land untap more lands i'll go to combat attack you opponent bolts the ox i will go attacking make you block play land ox of a goddess these oxes have been great uh cycle street wraith ingot chew the nettle cyst and pass the turn opponent a taps can you answer two threats again i think killing that batter skull was 
Oh, all right, Pose gives it up. I think killing that batter skull is kind of what won us this game. Like, getting rid of the batter skull was super huge. Okay. Do we want to change anything? Lightning Axe. Hmm. Lightning Axe might be fine. Fiery Temper. Lightning Axe is, kills a batter skull. Fiery Temper can hit face, though, which is nice. Eh, all right, let's 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 trim some Fiery Tempers. Go up a couple Lightning Axes. I feel like keeping batter skull off the battlefield is, like, goal A, B, and C. This sounds kind of sweet. Opponent, tap land. Well, cycle, wow. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. Land and Hollow One. Go. Opponent tap land passes. Um, well, go to combat, hit ya. Down to 60. Play. Oh, burning increase kind of risky, isn't it? Do we play it the safer way? Probably. This hand's pretty good. Let's play Neonate. Sack it. Discard Ox. Play Asmore. Get a cookbook past the turn. Opponent untaps. Yeah, I don't really want to discard this Ingot Chewer. Ingot Chewer answering Batter Skull seems like big game. Opponent. Edge Champion, protection from all colors. That's awkward. Yeah, we can't actually deal with that, can we? Hmm. Well, we do get to attack with Hollow One. Play Flame Blade Adept. Play Underworld Cookbook. Play a land past the turn. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Opponent. Island. Yeah, getting a batter skull or some other big equipment on Edge Champion, whew, that is, uh, that is scary. Very, very, very scary. About it. Nettle Cyst. Well, we have the answer for the Nettle Cyst, at least. About it. Pass it. Well, we untap. We will ingot chewer, evoke it, get rid of the Nettle Cyst, play Flame Blade Adept, Burning Increase, spin it to win it. Ooh, they kill the hollow one. Okay. Well, we grow our dorks, discard some stuff, end up with a Burning Increase still. Go to combat. Hit you for four. Ooh, we got rid of a Stoneforge and a Relic and a Dispatch. Those were those were good things to make our opponent discard. All right, when are you going to pwn it? How much removal do you got? Oh, sweet Jesus. Anger of the gods. Okay. That's bad. That's real bad. Opponent hits us. Well, let's Burning Increase. Um, play the land. Oxymagonus. We really need this to resolve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No counters, please. Okay, Ox resolves. Play another cookbook. Pass the tur. About it. Wow. They've done a lot of dispatches. Untaps. Oh, what a draw. All right. Stoneforge. Yeah, that is... That is what we wanted not to see. And another etch champion. Oh, opponent might have this now. Hits us. We're going to need some good running. Opponent passes. Hmm. Well, discard Blazing Rootwalla. Madness it. Make a food. Goblin lore. Hollow. Hollow one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll discard Rootwalla. Do not madness it. Wait, this goes to our graveyard, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, we will not cast it. We will get a food. We will get back an ox. We will draw some cards. We will play a hollow one. Pass the turn. Oh, but they get to get down the batter skull. And we don't have an instant speed answer. Phone it, tap lad. So I can put the batter skull into play. Oh, phone it, passes. We untap. Underworld cookbook, not super helpful. Yeah, there's no way of we can beat this, right? Ugh, man, so close ridiculously close <sighs> but then the life gain comes and then the batter skull goes on an edge champion and and we just can't beat that well, i guess we pass the turn opponent going to stoneforge put a batter skull into play well let's fiery temper kill the stoneforge make a food yeah six six protection all colors vigilance lifelink pretty good opponent so the reason we're staying in this is because is because if we draw a way to kill the batter skull, we actually have a, a bit of a chance. Oh, come on. Oh, no, the top deck. Wow. We draw a mountain. Wow. What a what a good draw. Uh, well, uh, we will pass the turn. Oh, brutal, 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 brutal opponent. Oh. Okay, another red champion. Gets in, gains a million. Well, we'll sack of food, gain some life, sack of food, gain some life. Discard a land, discard a cookbook, untap, draw a mountain, scoop it up. Oh! Well, 
It's a loss, but it was an interesting game at least. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think it really just came down to our opponent just kind of ran better than we did at the end. They had that Stone Forge, and then the top deck Galvanic Blast was actually huge for our opponent. I mean, they were still in decent shape, but that's what really made it so there was basically no chance that we could win after that. And we just, poof, all the lands, all of our good stuff at the bottom. Wow, what a what a game. What a game. Budget magic time. We are oh, we are Mono Red Hollow winning with as more in modern. And I mean we got Street Wraith and Asmore on turn one, and then spin it to win it on turn two, probably. Well, cycle, Street Wraith, more Asmores. Well, that's not bad. The first one could die, and it is it is pretty good. Well, get a cookbook, pass the turn. See what our opponent is up to. Schwamp and thought sees. Uh, how about a Blazing Root Walla opponent? What do you think about... No, all right, takes a cookbook. Well, we will play Flame Blade Adept, play a Mountain, go to combat, hit ya. And I think we're gonna... Well, yeah, we're gonna wait on, on Blazing Root Walla. That's a really good thing to discard a Burning Inquiry. Opponent suspends a Tutor. Well, we will cycle Street Wraith. Grow Flame Blade. Play a Flame Blade. Play Burning Inquiry. Well, not bad. Grow our Flame Blades. Get a free Blazing Root Walla. Hits you for eight. And unless our opponent has a wrath, there's a pretty good chance we can kill our opponent before before Profane Tutor comes off suspend. Wow, they're playing a reanimator deck. Good thing, uh good thing we did not help them discard a reanimator target. Persist. Interesting. Mono black reanimator? Well, I guess that means we need to bring in Tormod script. An opponent! Done diddly done. <laughs> okay, well, Tormod scripted. Go down. Two flame wakes to get around our opponent's graveyard hate. One neonate and one. Ooh. Hmm. Fire temper? Run it like that? I think we definitely want the graveyard hate. Uh, -huh. well. We're gonna keep this. Mostly because we saw persist. And that heavily suggests that our opponent's trying to reanimate, and Tormod's Crypt is our best answer to reanimation. So I'm for our opponent. Inquisition of Kozilek. Sure. Now well, we'll see what they take. Since we have two Tormod's Crypts, it's probably Goblin Lore, but if it was one Tormod's Crypt, it's probably Tormod's Crypt. All right, takes the Goblin Lore. Opponent passes. We draw another one. Well, play a Tormod's Crypt. Play a Tormod's Crypt. Play a Mountain, and... We're gonna wait till next turn to start cycling Urborg. Opponent passes. Well, cycle the Street Wraith. Oh my god, cycle the Street Wraith. It's a Street Wraith Tron assembled. Play a Mountain and Goblin Lore. That wasn't all that productive. <laughs> we did a bunch of things, but didn't really make, make any progress. Thankfully, our opponent's missing land drops. Well, let's, you know what? I think the smart play is Flame Blade Adept, Flame Blade Adept. Next turn, we in Goblin Lore to grow the Flame Blade Adepts. Hopefully. Ooh, opponents got a legend rule themselves. Brutal. Liliana? Sure. Oh, I was hoping they were going to tip up and we could Blazing Root Walla. <laughs> Phone it passes. Well, let's Underworld Cookbook. Discard Blazing Root Walla. Cast it. Get a food. This lets us Asmore. Mono Black Reanimator sounds sweet. Might as well get another another cookbook and yeah, smack the Liliana a bit. Yeah, having to let your poor opponent stuck on two lands and then drew the other Urborg. That is such a such a <laughs> such brutal draw. Boat it passes. Well, we will spin it to win it. Goblin Lore. Uh, Alright, didn't do much. Go to combat. Attack you. Down to twelve. I mean, it did pump our flame blade, so that's that's something. Martial adds for our opponent. Opponent could use like a damnation, maybe. Opponent passes. Well, play the land. Let's once again spin the goblin lore. Like a weird giant growth. And our opponent says, uh, <laughs> thanks for the beatdown. Double Tormod script got me. Yeah. Once we saw the persist, uh, we were pretty sure the Tormod scripts were going to be good, and apparently they were. Well, okay. Asmore, Hollow Woods, MH2 Modern. Oh, I love this deck. Mono Red Hollow One, the original, was so sweet. And this deck is quite a bit different than where it was like two years ago, but the new additions are big. Big, 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 big. Whew. All right, on to the next. Budget magic time. We are Hollow one in, in, ooh, in, uh, in Modern. Mono Red, Asmore, Ano, Mara, Disa, Dikits, Tik. 
Particular, uh, hollow one. We'll get on a flame blade adapt. I think our plan is flame blade, turn to neonate, discard blazing root walla, play asmore, hope for the best. Monastery, swift spia. Opponent gets and hits us, sure. Mountain, play insolent neonate, discard blazing root walla, get it for free. Draw a card, asmore, get a cookbook and hit you for two. All right, so opponent, they're probably gonna have a bunch of burn spells. Looks to be some sort of prowessy deck, blitz. Opponent, Scalding Tarn, sure. And mounted, Sprite Dragon. Goes to combat, attacks. Hmm, I'll play the land, play Underworld Cookbook, play Burning Inquiry. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Wow, what do we do now? This is interesting. Ha, huh. 14, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, wow. Hmm, we can do a lot of damage here, can't we? Well, I guess we just kill the Swift Spear and go to combat, hit you for a bunch. Opponent down to nine. Possible we should discard this food during our, or discarded this land to make a food during our turn. I think we might actually need the two treasures to turn on this removal. At the same time, if our opponent has a lightning bolt, then it gets a lot worse. About it, another Sprite Dragon and a mountain, and a forked bolt. All right, all right, all right, sure. About it. Well, now I think we definitely have to discard. Wow, risky, risky, risky times. Sure, we will take it. Well, uh, discard the mountain, make a food. Untap, goblin lore. Discard a mountain, make a food. Kill the sprite dragon. Pump the root walla. Hit ya, down to three. All right, all right, all right, opponent. What do you got? Expressive iteration, one of our opponent's best cards. Can they find the answers to get out of this? Asmore is quite the card. The removal is so big. Opponent, all right, hits the land. So they did get the, the draw to you. Plays the land, soul scar mage, and passing. I'll play the mountain, discard the hollow one. Ox of a goddess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw some cards. Neonate. Discard Ox of Agonis, draw a card. Yeah, let's play a hollow one and just pass the turn, I think. Next turn, we can turn on Esmore's removal again, and we have a pretty lethal board. We could also hit a Fiery Temper. Opponent, all right, chaining together the expressive iterations. Well, opponent's giving it their best shot here. I guess in a pinch, we could also use the food to gain life. Se secret hidden mode. We It comes up so rarely in this deck, but in theory, like we could use the food for the purpose food was designed for, nourishing our oxygen bodies. Oh, opponent. What do you got? So last turn, there's probably some argument for just going for it and attacking. If The problem is if our opponent has a spell, we can get really blown out because they can grow the Sprite Dragon, trade, and we're kind of wanting Esmore to, uh, to be a removal spell. Well, the good news about this is it means our opponent's going to be tapped down or even completely out. So unless our opponent's janking us out here with double strike or something, the coast should be clear for us to win next turn. What do I got? Opponent needs like a straight up wrath or something, I think, which I don't think is in their deck. We just have so many lethal threats right now that unless they can kill us, I guess like double bolt could buy him a turn. Opponent's really thinking about this, which kind of scares me. <laughs> I was hoping they would have just conceded by now. <laughs> Land. Four cards in hand. Two mana that they got to use on something or it's going to go to waste. We also get quite a few spins to find another fiery temper too. All right, opponent gut shots. Asmore. Grows the sprite dragon. Lava darts Asmore. Lava darts Asmore. All right, so opponent officially killed an Asmore and grew their sprite dragon a bunch. Passes. Hmm. Well, Cycle Street Wraith, Burning Inquiry. Opponent cracks Scalding Tarn goes to one. So they're gonna use their removal now. Another Lava Dart. All right, so opponent Lava Darts for literal days. Well, spin it to win it. Show us that Fiery Temper. Okay. Well, Ox of Agonis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get it back. Discard Rootwalla. Madness. Wow, Double Street Wraith. <laughs> Can we not attack here? Well, I guess we can. Well, no. Hmm. They have Lava Dart in the graveyard. The problem with not attacking is we could just die to a Sprite Dragon attack. Yeah, this is this is awkward. So if we attack, our opponent blocks here. Blocks, well, I guess we, yeah, I mean, I think we do. Probably gonna lose both of our creatures. Opponent blocks and blocks. See if they Lava Dart. No. 
All right. Well, if it looks like our opponent is going to lethal us, we can cycle these street race and hope that we have a fiery temper on the top of our deck. <laughs> that is our last line of defense. Opponent goes to combat, attacks. Do we have to go for it now? I mean, I gotta assume we're dead, right? We gotta be dead. We gotta be. Nine, 10, 11. Yeah, hoping our opponent just has nothing is doesn't seem like a good plan. Although odds of hitting Fiery Temper are not super high. And if we take the hit, then we won't be able to resolve both Street Race. All right, cycle it. Mountain. Well, one more shot. Two out of 20 set. Come on, Dak, give us that Fiery Temper. Mountain, mountain. All right, yep. <laughs> well, those are not the cards we wanted on the top of our deck, that's for sure. Lightning Axe is in. Maybe Ratchet Bombs. Yeah, I don't know. Go down the Flame Wakes don't seem great. Maybe a oh, Street Wraith. Yeah, maybe a Street Wraith and a Neonate. And a... I guess Blazing Rootwall is a bit weak. Thanks to all the Lava Darts and Gut Shots. Yeah, alright. Let's try it like that. Wow, that was so close. Yeah, Sprite Dragon gets out of hand if you can't kill it, and our opponent had two. We dealt with one of them, but the other one, they had the answer with triple gut shot lava dart stuff to get rid of Asmore. Wow, that was, that was another super close game. The Lightning Axes do give us more answers to, to the Sprite Dragon. The downside of our opponent's deck is they probably have, what, 12 threats, maybe 16? So they are not extremely threat dense, and some of their threats aren't even that great. Like, Soul Scar Mage is kind of a medium threat, so if we can keep the Sprite Dragons and Stormwing Entities off the table, we should be able to deal with the ground stuff with our random dorks. Alright, we get to play first. Sure. Well, we'll get to see how good Ratchet Bomb is. I do like that, that we have this Lightning Axe. Mount, mount in. Neonate. Go. I don't like that our opponent has a million Lava Darts. Opponent. Spire Bluff Canal. Monastery. Swift Spear. Goes attacking. Sure. No blocks. Well, play the land. Lightning Axe. Actually, do we Lightning Axe? Maybe we just Ratchet Bomb. Go to combat. Hit you for one. Pass the turn. Aired Mace of our opponent. Cracks it. Steam Vents. Untapped. Sprite Dragon. Well, we should be able to clear the board here, I think. Opponent hits us with both. Yeah. Down to 17. Well, charge up Ratchet Bomb. Untap. Flame Blade. Hmm. Well, sack Neonate. Discard Ratchet Bomb. Draw a card. Lightning Axe. Sprite Dragon. Discard the Mountain. Play Asmore. Grab a Cookbook. Play the Land. And Flame Blade it up. Go. Well, Sprite Dragon 1 down. Uh, opponent. Gonna need to find an Ox or something. Opponent. Sprite Dragon 2. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Sure. Well, we will take it. Definitely gonna take this up to get rid of Sprite Dragon. Down to 15. Charge it up. Go and tap. Um, hmm. Go to combat. Hit ya. Down to 12. Cookbook. Huh. Yeah, I think we'd rather discard the Flame Blade Adept, honestly. The two foods for removal seem pretty helpful. All right. Well, we can kill the Sprite Dragon. We can and will kill the Sprite Dragon. And then see what happens about it. Play another two. All right, Manamorphos grows the dorks. Storming Entity would kind of be a problem, potentially. All right, opponent goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Well, we will sack the Ratchet Bomb, blow up the Sprite Dragon. Take two. Opponent plays a Mountain. Another Sprite Dragon. Well, discard Flame Blade, get a food. Untap. Discard Burning Inquiry, get a food. Go to combat, hit ya. Not been the most explosive of draws, but our opponents drawn three Sprite Dragons and we're not dead, so that's, uh, that's something. Ugh, boot it. Takes it. Well, alright. Sag the foods, kill the Sprite Dragon. Pass the turn. Too risky to let it untap. Ugh, boot it. Manamorphos. For free. Adds green mana, interesting. Swift Spear. Do they actually have green cards? Mutagenic, I guess they kinda do. Mutagenic growth. One card in hand. Haas is coming right down to the end. Why well, has it been a super close? Both of these games have been ridiculously close. 
So I guess win or lose, we're showing that our budget deck can keep up with one of the best decks in Modern. It's seriously been like one card either direction both of these games. And we haven't even had a very strong draw this game. And we're still like, boy, right at the right at the edge. What's that last card? I think the only way we're dead is if they have some random double strike spell, which the deck doesn't typically play, but you never know. Opponent might be trying to decide if they should attack or not. Although if you're casting Metagenic Gross, you kinda gotta. Opponent gets in with one. Sure, we take it. Down to nine. We draw a land. And we go to combat. Attack. Opponent blocks. And gut shots. Alright, so as more down. Um, yeah, well, let's get in an extra point of damage. Make a food. Alright, four to nine. Who top decks better? I think our opponent's probably advantaged here because they have... They have expressive iteration. Opponent gets and hits us. We draw Burning Inquiry. Well, spin it to win it. Did we find an ox? No. Ugh. All right. Well, we got three mountains out of the way, which is good. We did not want to draw three mountains. Opponent goes to combat. Hits us. Down to six. I don't sack the food. Untap. Lightning Axe. Could do something in the future. Wow, we desperately need an ox. Opponent untaps. Goes to combat. Hits us. Down to eight. Land. Passes. Uh, yeah, let's pass for now. We can leave up Lightning Axe in case something crazy happens. Otherwise, next turn we can maybe Lightning Axe and Goblin Lord down to seven. Opponent passes. <laughs> All right, let's pass the turn. Opponent untaps. This might be where we have to kill the Swift Spear. Lightning Axe. Discard a Goblin Lore. Opponent's really thinking about this. Okay, Vapor Snags. Well, that's fine. That puts our opponent to three, which means Fiery Temper does do it. Swift Spear. Opponent passes. Well, Goblin Lore. Fiery Temper. Oh, that's what we were hoping. We discarded a Hollow and an Asmore, but Fiery Temper. No counters. No counters. Wow, opponent Vapor Snagging themselves. <laughs> Ended up backfiring. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a pretty big backfire. Oh, well, that was not pretty, but we did manage to sort of just grind our way through. I think we gotta go down. Let's go down another Blazing Root Wall. Like, go up another Neonate. At least Neonate we can sacrifice when the Lava Darts and Gut Shots come for value. Ratchet Bomb was actually fine. Like, it wasn't exciting, but it did deal with, with one of the three Sprite Dragons. Cannot believe we beat three Sprite Dragons. Like, Hollow One control that game. Boy, this has been, this has been a really close, interesting match. Well, spin it to win it, I guess. What will happen? No one knows. Please don't discard our Hollow One. We haven't had any insane, like, double Hollow One turn one starts. This could be it. Or we could end up with six lands in hand or something. Steam Vents untapped. Also possible that we should wait until turn two, because then we can also play Asmore. We'll see what we draw. Lightning Axe. Yeah, I mean, we gotta do it. You can't play Hollow One and not take the chance. Come on, no discarding. All right, well, we discard a bunch of stuff that we wanted, but we do get to play our Hollow One, which is nice. We did lose an Asmore and our Lightning Axe and a Flame Blade, and we did not discard any of these lands. I guess good news is we did draw a Goblin Lore, so we can spin again. Always hard to know if we're supposed to block against this deck. They just have so many... We Everything's a pump spell when you're playing Prowess Creatures, so it's so easy to get blown out. Something like Cookbook or Neonate would be good, just to Fiery Temper. Opponent, combat. Yeah, I mean, I think we just gotta take it. Don't really want to lose our Hollow One. Technically, we're kind of winning the race at the moment. All right, opponent. Mutagenic growth. Two to us, two to them. Hits us. Land. Wow, untapped. Storming entity. Oh, that's... That is a scary one. That is what we didn't want to see. Oh, and we lost our lightning axe. Ooh. Yeah, that burning angry might have wrecked us, honestly. Let me draw Asmore. I don't play the land. Go to combat. Attack. Our opponent scryed one to the top. Opponent takes it. Do we even goblin lore? Oh, I think we're dying. I think we're dying. Uh, yeah, I think we gotta wait. Next turn, at least, we can play a fiery temper if we discard it. Their free spells can protect the Stormwing, though. Opponent. Are we dead? Soulscar Mage joins the party. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Hits us. That is a lot of damage. Mutagenic growth. That's even more damage. And they can chump, huh? Yeah, we might have we might have screwed ourselves over that burning inquiry. We got our hollow one, but the stuff we discarded, we ended up needing. Wow, they're still going. Lava dart. Are we just straight up dead? Oh, they put us to one? Lava dart. Two. Oh, they hit the hollow one. Interesting. Well, play the land. Goblin lore. Fiery temper. 
Kill Stormwing. Oh, but we're dead to literally anything. And Lightning Bolt is anything. Wow. Well, <laughs> that was that was ridiculously close. Not a win, but a really interesting match at least, so. Uh, if we're gonna lose, might as well at least lose interestingly. Budget magic time. We are spinning to win with <laughs> the new and improved MH2 mono red hollow one. And I think we keep this. I mean, we can spin to win. We don't have anything to put into play, but uh, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Opponent's mulliganing. Uh, do we go for it on turn one or do we wait until turn two is the question. I think, I think we just play Insolent Neonate. One of the differences with this deck compared to past decks is we now have Asmore, and Asmore is another thing that we can play on turn two. Well, there goes Burning Inquiry. Okay, okay, okay. That's kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. Well, maybe we should have spun it. Yeah, so you kind of want to wait an extra turn, because on turn two, if we Asmore, we discard a card, we can play it. On turn one, we're what? Just hoping to hit Hollow One, basically? Losing Burning Inquiry does slow us down quite a bit here. Yeah, there goes Burning Inquiry. Uh, bonus passes. We draw a mountain. Um, well, cycle street wraith. Flame blade adept. Mountain. I mean, we can just play a cute little little aggro game plan if our opponent's playing control. Opponent down to 17. And what you got, friend? Golding Tarn. Opponent passing. Play a mountain. Flame Lake Phoenix. Doing it the old fashioned way. Opponent cracks Scalding Tarn. Steam vents up. Wow. All right. Maybe our opponent's playing Death Shadow. Opponent lets it go. Well, we're gonna lose our lose our Phoenix for now. Go to combat. Hit ya. Down to twelve. Well, I guess next step is trying to get to this Ox. Opponent creeping tar pit. Well, cycle street wraith. Grow the dork. Go to combat. Attack ya. Hit ya. Opponent kills the flame blade. Drops to eleven. We'll play another flame blade past the turn. Opponent untaps. Yeah, losing that Burning Inquiry really slowed us down. Wandery Grave tapped. Opponent's passing. We draw a mountain. Well, play the land. Go to combat. Attack you. I mean, I guess eventually, eventually we can just hard cast this ox. An opponent. Snapcaster for Bolt. All right, so opponents had all the all the answers so far. Going to Bolt our Flame Blade Adept. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent goes to. No, no, no. We have Menace. Nice try, Snapcaster. You're not that good. So opponents had a lot of removal, and we have just had a very slow draw here. All right, opponent goes to 10. And Inquisition. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that does give us a free Blazing Root Wallace, so thank you. Thank you, opponent. <laughs> we appreciate the assist. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get a choice. You, you gotta take it, like it or not. And uh, we get to cast it. Yeah, Blazing Ruala. <laughs> it's kind of a, why are you gonna counter it? That'd be so funny if they Inquisition it and then had to counter it on the way down. <laughs> oh, do it. Oh my God. Ah, ah, yes. Oh, that's the greatest thing I have ever seen. Oh, ser that is, <laughs> that is literally the best thing I've ever seen. Opponent. it. <laughs> It's just a 14. <laughs> well, we will go to combat, hit our opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, let's discard the ox. Discard the ox draw card. Fiery temper our opponent's face. Play a mountain. Get back the ox. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw some new cards. Street race for days. All right. <laughs> Our opponent inquisitioning and then countering that Blazing Root Walla is seriously like the best thing I've ever seen. Opponent, four mana. Cryptic, bounce, draw. Sure. Opponent hits us. Down to 12. Well, uh, Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith. Goblin Lore. Insolent Neonate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play the Mountain. We're at eight. Worried about Ox getting countered. All right, let's discard Ox. Hollow one for free. Ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get back the Ox. Madness Fiery Temper. Hit you to three. Pass the turn. All right, opponents gotta keep answering all of our threats. We also get to Goblin Lore again, which is nice. 
I mean, her opponent's not dead, because worst case, they can chump with Creeping Tar Pit, but that's a, that's a pretty bad turn for our opponent. If they gotta just double chump to stay alive, opponent, combat, attacks. I mean, we're gonna block. I don't know. I don't know what kind of <laughs> sorcery this attack is, but, I mean, turning on Fatal Push doesn't matter. Oh, we go to combat. Do you have Cryptic? Well, all right, attack you. Opponent, Tar Pit. Aren't they still just dead though? Okay, and cling to dust to snapcast. All right, so opponent stays barely alive. We get to goblin lore, as more. Get a cookbook, play the cookbook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're gonna hold on to the land. I think we'd rather discard it. All right, I think we're good. We can discard Blazing Root Wall and add another threat to the battlefield and opponent. Okay. Apparently, inquisitioning a free band discard and then having to counter it on the way back down is not a winning recipe. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh, so, hmm. Do we change anything? One of the drawbacks of being mono red is we don't have an answer to enchantments. Which does mean if our opponent has, like, Leyline of the Void, that is annoying. I mean, we can win. Maybe we bring the Ratchet Bombs. You know what? We're gonna bring in Ratchet Bombs. Go down a, go down a Phoenix. Go down a, down two Phoenixes. The Phoenixes get really got by Graveyard Hate. So we minimize our reliance on the Graveyard a bit. I mean, we can win without using our Graveyard. That's one of the nice things about Asmore is between Asmore and Blazing Root Walla and Hollow One, we actually don't have that many threats that care about the Graveyard. Although Oxvagonis is pretty, pretty important. Huh, this hand. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine. Opponent, Steam Vents, untapped. And Grim Lava Mancer. Well, Mountain and Cookbook, go. Opponent. This does theoretically let us hollow one next turn. Opponent's mana base has been pretty painful. Cerulean Drake. Pro red. Well, I mean, we're probably just gonna have to go for hollow one. Opponent hits us down to 19. We untap. We draw. Fiery Temper. Well, that's even better. So we get to cycle Street Wraith. Play the Mountain. Discard. Fiery Temper. Kilgrim Lava Mancer. Mega Food. Hollow one. Go. All right, that's not a bad start. Maybe opponent's actually like a Delver deck. They look like a full-on control deck in game one, but this looks more like stuff you'd expect out of a Delver prowess style deck. Well, can you deal with a 4-4? The bad news is the rest of our hand is not super exciting. Ratchet Bomb will probably do something. Looking better now than in game one even, since we see that our opponent has a bunch of permanents. Blood Crypt. Wow, untapped. Opponent. Liliana the Last Hope. Takes up on Hollow One. And... It's us. Okay. Down to 16. Ooh, that's more sweet. Um, okay. So, 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 so. Discard a land, make a food. Play the land. Play Asmore. Find another cookbook. Ratchet Bomb. Hit. Ooh, we probably got to hit Liliana, unfortunately. I'd like to just go face, but we can't let Liliana ultimate. Liliana ultimating straight up beats us. All right, opponent. What do you got? What do you got? Ticks up on Hollow One. Polluted Delta. Drown in the lock on Asmore. Sure. I mean, opponent's down to two cards, though. That's not a ton of cards. Opponent. If we can ever get an Ox going, we're going to feel good about where we're at. Hits us. Down to 50. Well, start charging up the Ratchet Bomb. Untap. Draw. Flame Blade Adept. Well, go to combat. Hit our opponent. Down to 12. Play Flame Blade Adept. Play... Now well, let's wait on Neonate. Let's pass the turn. Neonate's a pretty easy Liliana target. All right, opponent's down to two cards. Cracks Polluted Delta. Watery Grave tapped. Sure. Takes up Liliana. Anger of the Gods. All right. Well, that's actually super good for our opponent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Opponent passing. Hitting us. Yeah, that is obnoxious. Well, charge up the Ratchet Bomb. Untap. Burning Inquiry. Spinner to win it. All right. Cling to Dust on Asmore. Sure. Gains a bit of life. Well, not much happened there. <laughs> All right. Play a Insolent Neonate. Pass the turret. So opponents don't know one card in hand. Although, a little deceptive because they do have clean to dust. Opponent untaps. Yeah, takes up. We discard cookbook. Draw a card. It is, ugh, even more lands. Okay. Opponent passing. Or hitting us and passing. Yeah, down to 13. Opponent. 
passes. Well, charge up Ratchet Bomb. Untap. Well, pass the turn. So we can kill... Actually, I guess we should kill Liliana before they get something back. Yeah, I think we have to. About it. Going to cling to dust again? All right, clings to dust. Yeah, let's, uh, sag Ratchet Bomb. Get rid of the Liliana. Yeah, we're gonna need a good draw at some point. The Liliana Anger of the Gods Cerulean Drake combo. I guess paying off for our opponent in some weird way. Opponent hits us. Down to 12. Opponent's also back up to four cards in hand. This Clean to Dust has been doing some work for our opponent. Well, we will. Discard a blazing Rutwala. Madness it. Yeah, what we're missing is an Ox to uh, to refuel and start the card advantage chain going. That's what we haven't been able to find. Oh, play the Rutwala. Get another food that isn't super helpful. Untap. More Rutwalas. Well, go to combat. Attack ya. About it. Lightning Bolt. I'll play the land past the turn. The opponent untaps. <laughs> More cerulean drakes, sure. Oh, opponent gets in, hits us. Yeah, we we need to find an ox. Like that's what makes us have a shot here. Fiery temper, not super exciting since our opponent is cerulean drake tribal apparently. Untaps. I don't even think cerulean drakes are that good against us. They're like, I guess okay, but they're not good. Opponent hits us. Like, most of our stuff has menace, or it's colorless, so I'm not really sure what the, the drake plan is, but, well, we'll crack a food. Untap. Mountain go. No velocity this game. We just have not found, we have not found our, our looting effects. We've had one, what do we resolve, one looting effect? Opponent plays a land. Taps a bunch of mana. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Brainstorms. Well, I mean, we're gonna go for it. If uh, if they counter this, then we're probably just done. Fiery Temper. Go with the Jace. All right, drown in the lock. Well, okay, this is it. We get one draw. If we don't draw some velocity here, then I think we are just going to concede because our opponent's just gonna Jace into whatever they need and we don't have a way to kill it. Opponent goes attacking all right can we draw a real magic the gathering card answer is no all right well oh no velocity lots of flooding and our opponent <laughs> got a little bit of everything going on over there a couple of jaces some cerulean drakes <laughs> opponents uh doing their best crim impression well we're on the play and if we can get off to a reasonable start, I think we can just run our opponent over. All right, we're on the play. Well, okay, we're gonna keep this. Little, little bit weak to Thoughtseize on this Goblin Lore, but Flame Blades can get our clock going. And hopefully Goblin Lore does sweet things. Well, land and Flame Blade Adept and go. Opponent, Watery Grave. Opponent does have a pretty painful mana base. Tapped. All right, we untap. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, let's play Flame Blade Adept. Play a land. Burning Increase. Discard an Ox. Ooh, get rid of an Anger of the Gods. Grow our dorks. Hit you for four. All right, the clock is on. Opponent down to 16. Getting rid of the Anger of the Gods is nice, too. Clean to dust the Ox. All right, that's annoying. Island. Opt. Well, play a Mountain. Um, play a Flame Blade Adept. Goblin Lore. Grow our dorks. Cannot madness. Hit you for eight. Play a hollow one. Go. Opponent. This is the fast start we were hoping for. Let's see if our opponent can find their way out of it. Polluted Delta. We'd love another Goblin Lord Birding Increase just to pump our flame ba blades. Opponent's passing. We draw. Blazing Rutwala. We'll go to combat. Attack you with everything. Opponent has a fatal push. Cracks Polluted Delta. Gets a swamp. Cling to dust. Lots of cling to dust. Well, opponent down to seven. Blazing Root Walla. Go. All right. Let's see if they have like a damnation, I guess. Scalding Tar. I guess they can potentially do some cryptic tap draw shenanigans. Cracks it. Down to six. Yeah. Mountain. Well, no cryptics. Wow. Desperate expressive iteration. Okay. And that is after casting a land, which powers it down quite a bit. Gets a Cerulean Drake casts a Cerulean Drake and dies? I think they die. We draw a mountain, which isn't good, but... Oh no, they go to one. Oh my goodness. If we lose this, I'm going to be so salty. Two lands in a row. Go to combat. 
attack you. Oh no, this is, this is lethal. This is lethal, opponent. Four, five, six, unless they have Slaughter Pact. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, they can block Hollow One. They do go to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was right and then wrong and then right and, well, technically right again because our opponent scooped it up. Whew. All right. Well, that's what we want to do against the control deck. That is, that is pretty much it. Sweet, sweet. All right, Hollow One. Hi! This deck played a lot more longer, grindier matches than I expected, but it's good to know we can win them. That is, uh, that is good news. Sweet, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Mono Red Hollow One for Modern, our new and improved, updated version? And overall, we went three and two, which, fine record with the budget deck. Not gonna complain about that. Although I will say, we played some ridiculously close games. Some of our wins in both of our losses were, like, games that came down to a single card, a single point of damage. They could have went either way, and I was actually kind of surprised by that. When I think of Mono Red Hollowood, I think of blowing people out with free wins, but we actually played some long, grindy games where we were going through, like, our entire deck just drawing cards in oxing and grinding and grinding, and it was actually really interesting. We didn't have too many, like, oh, turn one, multiple hollow ones, I just win the game type draws, but we had some really interesting close matches. I think the new additions to this deck are really, really big. As Asmore is great. Underworld Cookbook, surprisingly powerful, especially with Asmore. Like, the removal aspect of Asmore is part of Asmore's strength, and we saw that be very relevant in multiple matchups, but Cookbook, just discarding Blazing Root Wall or discarding a Flame White Phoenix, getting an Ox in the Graveyard is nice. And then Blazing Root Wall, uh, I mean, we got a two-for-one out of it, with our opponent making us discard it and then having to counter it after the free madness which is one of my favorite things to happen in all of our matches but it's actually a pretty powerful threat it's got bad matchups or sometimes it gets lava darted or whatever but a one mana three one if we're willing to dump some mana into it just helps us get off to these really explosive starts thanks to things like cookbook we can discard it end step which is nice so i really like this deck i think mono red hollowood it's a cool new update on a really sweet old budget archetype the new additions are really good and this is also upgradable i think the biggest upgrades to the deck there's really two one is vengevine is absurd in this deck it's way too expensive for the budget but with blazing root wallow with our hollow woods with our Asmores, it is really, really good. It's like Flame Lake Phoenix, but 20 times better and 20 times scarier. So that's a very easy upgrade. The other upgrade is just splashing into a second color. It wouldn't change the main deck hardly at all. Vengevine's the one big main deck upgrade. But if we go into like green, we get hate for enchantments. Uh, one of the things we were scared of is like Ley Line of the Void. We're good at killing artifacts, not good at killing enchantments though. So going into another color can just solve some of red's problems because red's not great at everything, but even as it is in this state, I think the deck is good, and it's definitely a competitive budget deck, so that is the new and improved MH2 Hollywood. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below, and to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos, and if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.